Hello, dear friends. Uh, this is a lecture of fracture mechanics. Uh, the content of the course is uh, material science and engineering. Uh, I am going to uh, give a brief lecture on uh, this topic. Uh, the content of lecture contains brittle fracture, uh, criteria for uh, fracture, ductile fracture, uh, ductile to uh, brittle transition. And most of the lecture materials are taken from uh, uh, these books, Fracture Mechanics book by T.L. Anderson and Fracture Mechanics by C.T. Uh, Sam uh, and Z.H. Uh, Jack. So the, for the beginning, uh, I'll start from the theoretical fracture strains and the crack uh, uh, ideas. So for that, let's consider a perfectly crystalline material loaded in tension. The failure by uh, fracture, sorry, uh, let me take this into, okay. So uh, failure by fracture occurs uh, if the bonds are broken and the fresh surfaces are created. Okay. So if two atomic planes are to be separated, the force required initially increase to maximum F max and then decrease. So the maximum stress corresponding to F max is the theoretical strain sigma T. This stress is given by uh, formula uh, sigma TFS, which indicates uh, theoretical fracture uh, strains, which is equal to sigma T, which is theoretical uh, strain, which is uh, approximately equal to E gamma over A naught. So <clears throat> on this, this uh, E implies the youngest modulus of material, gamma implies the surface energy, a naught equivalent uh, equilibrium distance between atomic uh, centers. That means atomic distance. Okay. So, for uh, by atomic approach, we can represent the theoretical fracture strain sigma TFS approximately e over two pi. That is uh, by atomic approach. This implies that the theoretical fracture strain is in the range of uh, youngest modulus over 10 to youngest modulus over 6. The strength of real ma material is of the order of E over 100 to E over 1000, uh, which is much lower in magnitude. Tiny crack are uh, responsible for the, uh, this. So the statement, this statement can be shown here. Uh, this y-axis implies amplitude of force F, and the x-axis implies the atomic radius or atomic uh, distance. Okay, so uh, this is the graph uh, increasing on, up to F max and then decrease that. So uh, the point here indicates that the maximum equilibrium distance between atomic centers, okay? So this is equilibrium uh, point. So for aluminum, uh, these are the material properties. The youngest modulus of aluminum is 70.5 gigapascal. The atomic distance, atomic center distance or equilibrium distance is 2.86 angstrom. And the surface energy uh, is 0.704 Newton per meter and the the, the theoretical fracture uh, strains sigma t or the theoretical strains t which is equal to 13.16 gigapascal this is for particular aluminum material again that crack plays the same role in the fracture of a weakening as this location play for plastic deformation fracture so fracture is um, related to uh, propagation of cracks. When crack propagates, it leads to a fracture. And it also leads to the failure of material or components. If there are no pre-existing crack, then the crack needs to nucleate before propagation. 
that is that propagation is for the uh, going for the failure point and nucleation is the initiation of uh, crack so crack nucleation typically requires high stress levels and crack propagation because once the damage initiates then the propagation will need uh, less energy a crack is typically a sharp void in material uh, which act like a stress concentration or uh, a stress amplifier. Hence, crack is a mal uh, amplifier of uh, far field means stress. Okay, so cracks themselves do not produce stress, but crack uh, amplifies the stress. Cracks in general may have uh, several geometries. Okay, even in a circular hole can be considered as a, a blunt crack. Okay. If it is a perfect circle, it is a blunt crack, and the crack may lie fully enclosed by the material or may have a crack face connected to the outer surface. Okay. So cracks connected with outer surface may be pro uh, profoundly influenced by the environment because many environmental factors are there, the moisture, the heat, and the corrosion, okay, that exposed to uh, atmospheric uh, situation. Pro crack propagation leads to the creation of new surface area, which further leads to the increase in the surface energy of the solid. However, in a fracture, the surface energy involved is typically greater than the intrinsic surface energy as a fracture involves in subsurface uh, atoms to some extent. Additionally, the uh, fracture surface energy may involve terms arising out of uh, uh, energy dissipation due to micro cracking and phase transformation and plastic deformation. So here we can see this is uh, a crack in material. The size of crack is given 2A. And the fracture surface energy, uh, gamma L, which is greater than intrinsic, intrinsic surface energy, gamma, for the uh, crack to be uh, initiated. Regions of stress concentrations help in the process. Fracture mechanics is a subject of study where in the material uh, resistance to fracture is characterized. In other words, the tolerance of materials to crack propagation is analyzed. Pro crack pro propagation B steady means uh, that is a slow increasing crack length with time or with load or can be catastrophic. That means unsteady crack propagation, leading to a sudden failure of material. So what dislocation is to slip, crack is to fracture. This means uh, under tensile loading, if the stress exceeds the yield strength, the material, the material begins to plastically deform. The area under stress strain diagram in the tensile testing is designated as the toughness in unionial tension. Toughness relates to the energy absorbed, absorbed to the fracture. Similarly, in the presence of crack, we arrive at material parameters which characterize the toughness of the material in the presence of crack. That is the uh, fracture toughness. In most materials, even the material is microscopically brittle uh, that shows uh, very little uh, plastic deformation in uniaxial test. There might be some difficulty at the microscopic level. This implies that in most materials, the crack tip is not infinitely sharp, but it is sometimes blunt and a little blunting occurred by plastic deformation. This further avoids the stress singularity at the uh, crack tip as well as, uh, as we shall see it later. So here we can see a sharp crack tip. Here there is no uh, bullant on the crack. 
and this is a blunting process. So these sharp corners are considered as uh, stress risers. Okay. So one of the important goals of material or component design is to avoid catastrophic failure. If the crack progression is steady, then we can uh, uh, practice preventing maintenance. That means replacing the component after certain hour of service. This can be done in the case of uh, catastrophic failure. The subject of fracture mechanics has its origin in the failure of welded wire second, uh, welded wire second uh, liberty ships. Uh, in one of the cases, the ship uh, virtually broken into two is a loud sound when it was in the harbor. That is not uh, in frightening mood. This was caused by the lack of fracture toughness at the weld joint, resulting in the uh, propagation of brittle cracks. Uh, the full list of fracture distribution to the this failure is the as shown in the figure. So, uh, breaking of the uh, liberty ship is there. Uh, the reasons are the welding. Welding instead of repeating is uh, one of the cases and the existence of cold water. Again, high sulfur in the steel. These are some of the factors for the breaking of the uh, ships. Okay, another, when we come to uh, welding, uh, continuity of the structure uh, is one of the factor. Residual stress developed while welding is another, and the micro cracks uh, in the uh, welded joint. Okay, so, uh, this is, uh, it is seen that uh, welding was done for faster production, but this results in micro cracks and the residual stress are developed, which leads to uh, brittle crack propagation. This problem become a global, uh, this uh, provide continuity of crack piles across plates. So instead of uh, one plate breaking, the entire ship broke. High sulfur in the steel contributed to the brittleness of the plates. <clears throat> Due to the cold seawater, the sharp the, the ships were harbored and the hull material uh, under uh, under one uh, phenomena known as detail to brittle transition. Okay, so in in uh, ironically, this days of the ship leads to the birth of the fracture mechanics as a systematic field of study. What is crack? That is a question. So as we have seen, crack is an amplifier of a far field stress. The sharper the crack tip, the higher will be the stresses at the crack tip. It is region where atoms are debonded and an internal surface exists. This internal surface may be connected to the external surface. Cracks can be sharp and brittle material, while in the tail material, plastic deformation at the crack tip blunts the crack, leading to uh, lower distress at the crack tip, and further alteration of the nature of the stress distribution. Even um, a void or a through hole, a void or through hole in the material can be considered as a crack. Okay. So uh, a second phase, usually hard brittle phase. Uh, actually, a second phase in the material is the matrix phase. Okay. There are fiber phase and the matrix phase in the case of composite. So and. Uh, uh, in a needle-like geometry can lead to stress amplification and hence be considered a crack. Further, debonding at the interface between the second phase and the matrix can lead to uh, formation of uh, interface crack. Sorry, the second phase is the uh, fiber phase. As the crack propagates uh, fresh or internal surface 